Hi there again. So I want to talk a bit about paddling today. Um, actually using your paddle, a um, couple of important things. Um, sometimes people have their paddle around the wrong way. Um, on my one, this is the paddle inside, the actual spoon side if you like, because you're going to use it like a spoon. Um, this bit with the rib on the back, that's the actual back of the paddle. So you're going to be putting it in, pulling it back like that. Um, I see a lot of paddles being used backwards. It's just a little bit annoying really to see them. Um, so, how do you set your paddle up? Right, really straightforward. Set it, put it like that. And it needs to be at your wrist height. That's really straightforward. Uh, just set it to your relaxed wrist height. Now today, what I do want to do, and obviously after that, you can just look at the graduations, you can see what it is, so you know exactly what yours is going to be on your paddle. Uh, now today, what I want to do, a lot of people say to me that they can see me paddling only on one side um, quite a lot of the time, most of the time. I do paddle just on the left and I don't go around in circles. Um, how do I do that? So I'm going to explain to you how I do that. Now when I'm on the water, normally down the side of the board, you're putting your paddle in, the catch they call it, putting your paddle into the water, and pulling it back nice and straight. Now I don't do that. Let me show you what I do. Let's get in the water. So I'm only going to paddle on my left and I'm going to keep going straight. How do I do that? Right, normally you would put your paddle in flat to the, the direction that it's going to be pulled back. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to angle it slightly so that as the water comes off of my paddle, it goes underneath my board. Um, so normally you would put your paddle in, pull it back, pull it out, put it in, pull it back, pull it out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to angle it slightly so that as the water hits my paddle, it goes underneath my board. That way it will pull the nose that way on every stroke. So I'm going to put that in, pull it back like that. And if you look, it's already pulling my nose around and I'm going left, paddling on the left. So I can straighten it up just by straightening my paddle a little bit and then we'll carry on. So if you're looking at that, I've angled my blade and depending on the angle I put on my blade, I can either turn to the right by having no angle or I can turn to the left by having lots of angle and pushing more water underneath the nose of my board and that's it so paddling on one side and keeping straight i'm stacking my paddle sometimes i'm over stacking my paddle so i'm almost trying to paddle underneath the board and that's all you got to do and if you want to if you just favor one side and that's what you want to do you can do it there's no real rules to these things so there you go Okay, so just to recap, um, make sure your paddle's at the right length, round about sort of relaxed um, wrist height, that's a good place to start really. Um, you might want to adjust it a little bit after that. And then once you get used to it, um, and then as you're paddling, if you just want to paddle on one side, just angle your blade slightly so that as the water is being pushed by your blade, some of it is being pushed underneath the nose of your board and it will just correct it slightly. So as you're also pushing back and it's trying to push you around the opposite way to your to your paddle um, it's also correcting it at the same time so it kind of cancels it out if you like anyway there you are happy paddling